So the robot is a means of performing minimal invasive surgery, so what most people would call keyhole or laparoscopic surgery. Just like your hands, the robot has got a wrist. And the advantage of the robot, beyond the fact it's got a better camera and I can look at things binocular, by using two eyes, the, cat, the robot with the wrist can work around corners. So it's a way to be able to better operate in tricky locations. When I do the operating, you feel as if you're in a 3D environment and therefore you can better relate the different organs to each other. Plus, the degree of magnification is higher, so you can see things in better detail. You have different additional instruments and ways of operating this machine that you didn't have just doing it by a standard keyhole. And the main difference I find is strategy. I have to plan much more how I'm using the instruments in what way because I'm using four instruments at the same time, whereas before I was using two. Um, but it offers so many advantages that the initial learning curve is quickly superseded by the advantages you have for the patient to be able to perform these technically difficult operations. Intra-op, there's not that much of a difference in terms of physiological stability, but afterwards, in terms of how quickly the patients recover, how quickly they start to eat, how quickly they're up, sitting out of bed, and the morphine requirements and the strong painkiller requirements are much less. Key benefits for patients are we can have more precise surgery, we have better views, we can do more complicated surgeries, they've got less pain afterwards, um, and they're less time in hospital. We are doing more complex patients, we're doing a wide, wider array of pathologies. And so just as you would expect, the more you do something, the better you get at it, and then the more complex stuff that you can do. Patients are quicker able to do their normal activities and go back to work, plus the complications we're seeing and the severity of the complications are much less as a result because they're not as badly affected by the trauma of the initial operation. Often it seems that surgery is all about the surgeon or the big machine. It's not, it's about a team. And that's at least half the attraction for me, that this is teamwork. It wouldn't be so successful if it wasn't for the team. Good anaesthetic team, good um, theatre staff, good surgical staff. My expertise is only as good as the rest of the team. That's a large part of what gets the results with better looking behind